sociologist and I teach in the urban education and social psychology departments here at the Graduate Center. The project, which I've been calling Children Framing Childhoods, is a longitudinal study. It starts in fifth grade and follows the group of young people through their last year of high school. Young people, I think, need to be more in control of the image that is presented of them, whether it be in the media writ large or it be um, in academic research. And so my research since working with um, teen, pregnant teens has focused on trying to find ways for them to present themselves as they would like to be seen. To use cameras as a means both literally and figuratively to put the lens on life in the hands of the young people. Their photographs and the way that they talk about the photographs provide an insight in, into the way that they want themselves portrayed as well as how they see the world around them. The idea is to really build up an archive of images as they change and as they see the world around them changing. So here's an example of a series of images that the young people chose to um, present to a public audience. To use new media in teacher professional development is really huge. Being able to have the images and hearing the kids speak at the same time allows educators to sit for a while and reflect on how their eyesight has been um, pressed into certain ways of seeing young people that isn't necessarily aligned with how young people want to be seen. And to do that in the privacy of their own space and realize these things in a way that is less threatening. The idea of a website archive, while it was in a dream in my mind, could not possibly be put together by a person like me with the skills that I have as what some people would call and I'm not sure I like this term, but um, a digital immigrant as opposed to a digital native. So the New Media Lab really provided the space, the support, the enthusiasm for making the archive both accessible in some ways for my own teaching, but also to the kids themselves to be able to be in charge of how they are, are represented. There may be a theme that um Claire is the mastermind of both the, the website and, and building it. I am a digital research fellow at the New Media Lab. Um, so what that means is that I work with faculty, um, primarily faculty in the humanities and the social sciences, and I help them do various kinds of uh, technology projects. Sort of whatever they need help with, I'm here to support them in that work. Let's try this. My work with Wendy is primarily geared around how can we catalog this archive of data, um, keep it secure because it is, of course, you know, photographs taken by young people, and make it available um, to the graduate students with whom she works so that she can sort of teach them um, visual research methodologies. When you're working with young people whose basic communication patterns have all to do with new media. I've had to, for example, get a Facebook account, which I never would have imagined doing, in order to be in, in uh, dialogue and constant um, contact with the young people. And the, the fluency and ease with which they operate within a social network environment is a way that I get to learn and really am in the position of being a learner from them. It's really important to uh, entertain the idea that I'm not the expert. I have to journey into uh, a land and a w way of being in terms of communicating that is altogether uh, strange to me and make it familiar both to the readers of the eventual work but also to myself so that I can become much better equipped to work with and um, understand and, and benefit from my relationships with young people.